What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Meal Prep. I don't know what this is, episode like 50, maybe, probably, somewhere around there. It's been a lot, it's been a lot. Comment below, what is your favorite meal prep that I've done so far? Let me know down in the comments. I wanna hear from you. All right, today we are going to do something that is quick and easy, and I promise it's quick and easy. I have four and a half pounds of chicken because I'm cooking for four people, a lot of people. And uh, I got two other ingredients. We got some ranch sauce and we got some buffalo sauce. Can you guess what we're cooking? Buffalo ranch chicken tacos? If you guessed it, you're right. Let's get started. So how do we make this pretty simple, quick, and easy? Because it's hot here in Texas. I've said that every video until about October. I'm gonna keep saying that. It's about 100 degrees outside now. I'm tired of being over the hot stove and I'm not going outside to roast and bake and fry up on the grill. So I got my slow cooker right here. I'm gonna put it on high for four hours. I have my chicken. All I do is cut the fat off. We'll put that right in the slow cooker. And then all I'm gonna do is add the one packet of the dry ranch seasoning. And then what would buffalo ranch chicken tacos be without the buffalo sauce? So let's go ahead and add some of Frank's red hot wing sauce up in here. I'm gonna add this whole entire jar and if I need more later, I'll do so. Woo, I can smell that sauce. Well, that's it folks, it's pretty easy. Put the top on. Set it to high, come back in four hours. I never do anything too simple, so we are gonna make our own ranch dressing and we're not gonna use heavy cream. What are we gonna use instead? All right, so this will set in the crock pot for four hours. I'm gonna go actually get a workout on. I might put a little bit of that footage in here. Then we'll come back and we'll make that dressing I was just talking about. And then uh, it's off to the races, folks. We're cooking and shaking up in here. See you in a second. <laughs> It's been about two hours since we put the chicken in the crock pot. It smells amazing up in here. Yes, amazing. Um, do not be tempted to take the lid off of the crock pot. Every time you do, you add 15 to 20 minutes of cooking time to the chicken. So instead of waiting four hours, it's gonna be about four hours and 20 minutes. I can't wait that long. No one has time for that. Let's go ahead and get started on that ranch sauce that I was talking about. I wanna get it in the refrigerator so it could be nice and chill. Don't like warm ranch dressing. I got two single servings of uh, Greek non-fat yogurt. I get it from my local grocery store. It's, it's store brand, it's only 86 cents each. Pretty cheap. All right, so that's about 10.6 ounces of Greek yogurt. And then we'll go ahead and add some seasonings. A half a teaspoon of salt. Of course, Himalayan pink salt is my salt of choice. And someone asked me why Himalayan pink salt? Well, table salt has been overly processed and overly refined so that it's stripped away of its all its natural like minerals. So this one is more in its natural state, so you're gonna get more of its minerals. Now it is only a small uh, portion, you know, it's, it's in small amount, so it's not a lot, but still, I'll take something that's less refined over something that's overly refined. We'll use a half a teaspoon of parsley, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, up to a teaspoon, it depends on your uh, taste, and then one fourth teaspoon of dill weed. Now you could use fresh dill, it'd be about a half a teaspoon um, worth, or you could use the dry stuff like I do. I don't use dill very often. All right, so I have fresh chives. I love fresh chives. Uh, this is about one fourth of an ounce, about seven grams. If you don't have fresh chives, you can use dried like chives. They sell them in the um, jar as well. Again, about a half a teaspoon as well. 
All right, and then lastly, we'll do a half a cup of any type of milk you want, unflavored. We're gonna use 2% reduced fat. And we'll do the juice of half a lemon. All right, let's go ahead and rinse these off real quick. All right, this is all done. Time to put this in the refrigerator. Let this sit for a couple hours. It'll get a little bit thicker. Um, as you're mixing this up, if you like yours like a thicker quantity, then go ahead and add the milk in a little bit at a time until it gets to, to the right consistency that you desire. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a aluminum foil on this and put it in the refrigerator. See you in T minus two hours. All right, all right, it's been four hours exactly. I am ready to take this out, shred it up, and eat me a taco. Are you ready? Let's, let's get into this. So let's get in here and just shred the chicken. I got two forks really easy it's been in there it just falls apart do you see that now you notice that when we were doing this we didn't add any additional salt that's because the that dry packet seasoning as well as the uh, buffalo sauce already had a, enough sodium in it now once we finish shredding this we're going to put this back into the juice that way it stays moist and it really gets that buffalo flavor all throughout now again, I use four and a half pounds of chicken. Of course, I'm cooking for four people. So if you don't have that many people, you can just split the recipe in half. Quite frankly, I came from a big family of six siblings total, including myself. So I really don't know how to cook small portions. I'm trying. Literally, this is so easy to shred. Once you cook it in the slow cooker, crock pot, whatever you want to call it. You can do this in an instant pot. It'll probably take a lot less time. How many of you people have instant pots? All done. Let's put it back into the crock pot with the juices in it. Let's go ahead and mix that up. Time for a taste test. That's good. Let's go ahead and put a taco together and see how it really tastes. All right. Mm. Yeah, boy, about to go down. All right, so when we're putting it together, we have a couple choices for tortillas. I have the Carb Balance Mission flour or wheat ones. Now, the only difference between these is like two grams of carbs. Now, this one has six grams of net carbs, and this one is gonna have 14 grams of net carbs. What the heck are net carbs, right? So if you look on the back, it's gonna say total carbs, 19 grams. But then you have dietary fiber, which is 13 grams, and you need fiber in your diet. So take the 13 away from the 19, and you're left with six grams. So that's how you get the six grams of net carb. I've been a good girl today, so I'm gonna go with the flour. Now, you could heat these up on the stove, but I'm hungry. I want to eat this now. So for toppings, we're gonna do some shredded cabbage. Now, I took the easy way out, I bought a bag of cabbage, it was already cut up, I didn't have to cut this. It was like $1.99 at HEB. Heb is what I call it. So we have that some cilantro, and then over here, I have my uh, yogurt ranch sauce. Now, mine's a little bit thinner, because that's how I like it. If you want yours a little bit thicker, darn knocking, interrupting me. But I'm, I'm gonna roll with it, the ice machine's coming. If you want yours a little thicker, like I said before, just don't add as much milk. But I don't like mine's too thick. Hello, who's there? The ice man. That's four ounces of chicken. I have my scale here, so I am measuring. And then we'll go ahead and put some of the cabbage on there. By the way, this is like really no, you really don't have to count this, but I'll do it for your purposes. That's 10 grams. And then some cilantro for garnish. All right, and then let's go ahead and top it with a little bit of the ranch sauce. Just a little bit, a dab will do you. I'm not too much of a sauce person. And that's it, boys and girls. It's time to uh, devour this right after I take a picture. All right, so, you know, I always do the taste test, and sometimes maybe you don't believe me that, you know, I like it or not. So uh, I'm going to have my nephew, and his name is Michael, 
You know that little life commercial? Let Mikey try it. He'll eat it. Some cereal is supposed to be good for you. Did you try it? I'm not going to try it. You try it. I'm not going to try it. Let's get Mikey. Yeah. He won't need it. He hates everything. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. All right, Mikey. This looks really good. Okay. There's no pressure to say it's good. Oh, you're a slob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying him. I really am not. Mm -mm. I pay her. <laughs> he needs to. Okay. Sorry, you <laughs> How is it? That's so good. So good? That's so good. Are you happy you moved to Texas? I can't even... Okay. I can't even put in words how happy I'm to move to Texas. I've been eating real food since I've been here. This is the most food I've eaten, the healthiest food, the best food that I've eaten. And I'm not just saying that because she's my aunt. When it comes to wanting to eat real food, I've always given her a call. I didn't even look at the Google. I just went on to either her YouTube or I called her up. And she does not pay me to say any of this. This is 100% honest. And I didn't even threaten his life today. Today? That's a rarity. <laughs> All right, get out of here, bye. <laughs> My nephew just moved to Austin, so he might pop up in the videos every once in a while because he just can't control himself, but uh, you know, okay. It's time for my taste test. Let's make another one. So uh, now that he ate his, let me go ahead and try mine. Cause I, I think it's good. Fuck. I don't know where I got this dance from, but it's good. Mm, that was good. Yes, it was. I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch me eat the whole thing because that would just be mean. No, I won't. But I uh, hope you liked this video. I even got a workout session in it. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what recipes you wanna try. Are you liking these series that I'm putting out? Do you like the recipes that I'm coming up with? I'm trying to think of creative things. People help me out, help a sister out. Let me know what you wanna see below. Put it in the comments and you never know, I might just try it. Other than that, folks, I need to eat the rest of this because it was darn but good. Nothing left to say, but stay focused, stay positive, and oh yeah, keep it moving. See you in the next one. Good day, everybody.